mathematicians uh, in our channel we haven't covered any problem on jordan canonical form uh, i will upload a video specially on jordan canonical form what is jordan canonical form up to what are the properties of jordan canonical form what is its relation to minimal polynomials uh, and more properties after that i will solve problem in jordan canonical form but this problem even though it is asked related to jordan canonical form uh, we don't really need jordan canonical form related stuff so let's see how to solve this problem uh, so a 4 by 4 matrix is given then the then the jordan canonical form of a is okay so which of the following four options is given like which one is the jordan canonical form so as i marked here this is going to be the answer let's see why okay so now this is a 4 by 4 matrix to talk about a diagonal visibility or jordan canonical form first we need to understand the eigen values of the matrix a okay but it is a 4 by 4 matrix how to calculate its eigen value so it is a part b problem you cannot spend more than 2 3 minutes so uh, there is a easy way to calculate the eigen value of this matrix so please uh, look at this matrix pause this video and look at this matrix and think uh, what is special about this matrix okay I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, so if you have find it uh, very good, otherwise I'll let you know. If you already know, it is very good. Otherwise, you're going to learn something new. That is the idea. Okay, so if you see, this is an identity matrix, 3 by 3 identity matrix. And here you have everything is 0. And here you have some numbers. So such a matrix matrices are called companion matrices. Okay, so once you given such a matrix its characteristic polynomial you can just uh, write it immediately uh, this is the so basically you have to consider negative of all these entries once you consider the negative of these entries then this is negative of this is the constant term negative of this is the coefficient of x negative of this is the coefficient of x square uh, negative of this is the coefficient of x cube and uh, it is a 4 by 4 matrix then the characteristic polynomial should have degree 4 then you might ask what is the coefficient of x power 4 we have x uh, constant term coefficient of x coefficient of x square coefficient of x cube but uh, in a characteristic polynomial is always a monic polynomial therefore the coefficient of uh, uh, leading coefficient will be always 1 okay therefore the characteristic polynomial of this matrix can be easily computed like this so 4 plus uh, 0t minus 5t square plus 0t cube plus t power 4 okay so let me write here t power 4 plus uh, sorry t power 4 minus 5t square plus 4 this is the uh, characteristic polynomial of this matrix okay so in internet check what is companion matrix you, you the, this is a very uh, important uh, concept uh, it will be very helpful for uh, clearing uh, uh, sorry uh, in uh, solving problems in competitive exams if you given a matrix you can construct it you can calculate its characteristic polynomial suppose you are given a polynomial and you want a matrix whose characteristic polynomial is that polynomial you start with okay the reverse problem that can be solved using companion matrix okay so you start with some arbitrary polynomial then you put you arrange the coefficients like this coefficient of constant term coefficient of x x square in this order but you have to take the negative of the coefficient put everywhere zero here identity matrix here then this character this matrix will have the characteristic polynomial that uh, polynomial you start with okay so that is why companion matrix is a very in very important given a matrix you can construct a sorry given a polynomial you can construct a matrix whose characteristic polynomial will be the matrix you start with okay anyway so let's come to this problem so this is the characteristic polynomial so you see all the powers are even so whenever all the powers are you even you always uh, make the substitution t square equal to x so then the uh, this polynomial will be reduced to x square minus 5x plus 4 therefore the roots are roots of x square minus 5x plus 4 are uh, uh, 1 and 4 okay so you can factor this as x minus 1 into x minus 4 
So now you put back x equal to t square, you get a t square minus 1 into t square minus 4. Therefore, the roots of this polynomial are 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2. So if you notice, this matrix has distinct eigenvalues. Okay. So if a matrix has distinct eigenvalues, all this is a real matrix with a distinct eigenvalues in R. Therefore, this matrix is diagonalizable. Okay. So uh, yeah, once the matrix is diagonalizable, its Jadon canonical form will be the diagonal matrix. Okay. Uh, why is it so? If the matrix is uh, has distinct eigenvalues, then its minimal polynomial and characteristic polynomial will be same. Okay. Uh, for example, this uh, t plus one into t minus one into t square t minus two. So, uh, I mean, it is a simple exercise. You can think t plus one into t minus one into t plus two into t minus two. Okay. So this is the characteristic polynomial. So all the roots of characteristic polynomial should occur in the minimal polynomial also. Okay. Therefore, all these factors should occur in minimal polynomial also. But in minimal pol therefore, this will be the minimal polynomial. Okay. So whenever the roots are distinct, eigenvalues are distinct, minimal polynomial and uh, characteristic polynomial are equal. Now in the Jordan canonical form. Uh, the powers occurring here, all these powers occurring here, this power, powers occurring in the minimal polynomial, that is the, that represents the size of the largest block, okay, but that we will see, uh, so therefore size of the largest block should be 1, so largest block is 1 means it should be like this, okay, so that is one idea, anyway we, we will see in the V I will make a video on Jordan canonical form where I explain the connection to minimal polynomial very clearly. But right now, if a matrix is diagonalizable, its Jordan canonical form, form will be the diagonal matrix only. For the time being, you just assume that, then this is the correct answer. Okay. Okay, guys. So if you learned something new from this video, please click the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.